Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to estimate this square root of 67 between two consecutive numbers. So to figure out what it's between the two consecutive numbers, we've got to look at perfect squares, which would be, for example, 1, and that'd be 1 times 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, uh, 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 8 is 64, and we're going to need that number, and then 9 times 9 is 81. So uh, what this means is that the square root of 67, in terms of the numbers that I have listed here, it's greater, if we looked at just the 67, it's greater than 64, but it's also less than that other perfect square, 81. But since it's square rooted, we would look at the square roots of these as well. And the square root of 64, again, that was 8 times 8, so that's 8. And the square root of 81 was 9 times 9, so that's 9. Meaning that this square root of 67, it's greater than 8, but less than 9. So the two numbers it's between would be 8 and 9. All right, that's it for this one, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if this video is helpful for you, like the video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below.